The headlines, the videos, and of course the impact of this spreads far beyond Texas and the students there. It can affect any of us. And right now we are all thinking about students here in Arizona. Team 12's Colleen Sakura spoke with a therapist about how to begin to talk to your kids about this. And Colleen, where does she suggest that we even start? Well, a lot of kids have probably already seen the news about the shooting. They may have questions, emotions, fears, and need to talk about it. So she said, remembering to be open and willing to listen is the best we can do. Violence happening again, flashing across our screens, filling our news feeds. This is devastating. This is traumatic. And that trauma it stays with people. Victoria Sechrist, a marriage and family therapist in the Valley, says what's happened in Texas, students and teachers hurt and killed, takes a toll. And social media takes a toll on kids too. When you're watching these horrific videos, it's actually making it feel like it's happening right there for you. Sechrist says she's had kids now say drills preparing for an active shooter affect them too. You're literally preparing for the worst case scenario to, to occur. And so I, from what I have heard from kids these days is that it, it's hitting them and sitting with them in an entirely different way. Secret says preparing a plan is always good, but those emotions and whatever feelings come up from the latest shooting should be expressed. As we're noticing, these school shootings are not stopping. And so we need to have these conversations. We need to have some sort of preparedness or even being able to understand um, this is difficult to talk about. Saying an open conversation is what's needed now. How did you hear about this? How was this information brought about to you? What are your thoughts? How are you feeling about it? You know, just being able to gently guide into that conversation. As to what kids need in the midst of such a tragedy. Kids need to know that they're heard that they're understood, that they can freely express their fears. And as for being able to validate those emotions and fears, Secret says acknowledging them, saying things like, I hear you, I understand why you might feel that way, are a good way to start. Karibe and Mark. All right, thanks.